Hello, I'm Johnny Greenhorn, and this is Greenhorn. Immigrants, they are coming. An inhuman swarm that is literally dehumanizing in its phrasing. I am in no way scaremongering or sensationalizing when I say, be afraid, very afraid. So afraid that all you can do is sit here watching this show for its duration, transfixed with fear. <gasps> this is an artist's impression of an immigrant. Note the long claws for snatching jobs and the large nose for sniffing out benefits. Earlier this week, I met with some Dorset locals who have sworn to protect their home county from the oncoming swarm. Hey there. Hi, hello. Hi, Smitty. Johnny. Johnny. Hello, we are the DDL, Dorset Defence League, that stands for, and we've been defending Dorset for about as long as I can remember. So what do you think of the idea that immigrants are demonised? No, no, I, I don't think so. Though having said that, I have heard some of them are actually demons. I saw a photo, I saw a photo of one once, he was in the distance and it was blurry, but you could, you could tell what he looked like, he's... No word of a lie, must have been ten feet tall, big leathery wings like a bat, his teeth and claws. And it was really just terrifying. Not the sort of thing I want to see around here in these parts, here in Dorset. So, me and my two best mates, Mick and George, we banded together and we formed the DDL. And we swore to defend and protect Dorset from immigrants and the like at all costs. We'll lay down our lives if need be. And let me tell you, we have got into some serious training. Right, we're going to do a little demonstration for you now of what to do if and when you see an immigrant. <clears throat> now we've been training hard at this every day, like a like a SWAT team, and we've got it down to a fine art now. But you want to try and recreate this if you see an immigrant, because this is what to do, boys and girls. All right. Now, Mick, that Mick, Mick. What? We're we're doing it in a minute. Oh, oh. Mick, Mick is playing. Mick. Hold on, Mick, hold on. Mick's, Mick's playing the immigrant and me and George are going to get him. Now, here he comes! Here he comes! Oh, hold him up, Bobby, hold him up! Bloody hell! 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 Bloody God! God, get him! And that is what you want to do, alright? Because I have got him now. And I have neutralised the threat. And I am going to send him back. Bloody Pakistan, wherever he's from. Well done, lads. Well done, Mick. And, ready, George? 
One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. That's it. Keep going. Keep going. Thrust with it, George. Thrust. From the hips. From the hips. Ooh, nice one, George. Be gone! Be gone with you! Come on! Away! You can scare me with your magic! Good. Good, mate. Lovely. Bloody hell, George. Nice one, that? mate. Nice one. Nice yeah. one. Yeah. That's how we do it. Wow. Thrilling. You know what? That's inspired me. I'm not going to sit here and do nothing about it. I'm going to go out and find an immigrant. Cut to outside broadcast. Because, um... Well, I think the trouble is that back in the day, back in my day, they were just coming from Pakistan and Poland. Whereas these days, they're coming from all over the shop. They're coming from Syria, Romania, Bolivia, Bulgaria, Baltics, the Baltica, Budweiser, Bournemouth, Birmingham, Bravos, Pentos, the ruins of old Valeria, the shadow lands of Ashai, mines of Moria, the Lost Kingdom of Dol Guldur, the Pass of Kirith Ungol, the Dead Marshes, and obviously Mordor itself. And, um, you know, the other thing is, it's not just them, because they bring their sprogs with them. And their goblins, and their cave trolls, warlocks, Ring wraiths, white walkers, shadow binders, and gremlins. And the trouble with immigrants, and I've always said this, is they feed their gremlins after midnight. And I'm sorry, but we just don't do that in this country. You know, it's one of the Ten Commandments for a reason. You know, people say to me, Barry, you've gone mad, you're losing your mind, you're confusing fantasy with reality, you're off your medication, and I say, yeah? What do you think about immigrants? About well, immigrants? Wow. Um, that's obviously a really big and complicated issue and I don't think many of us can claim to be experts. Um, but I think we just have to just try to not get caught up and, and be made frightened by the media storm and just bear in mind that these people are human beings, people that want better futures for their families and their children. And wow, so wow, wow, hang on. This doesn't fit my agenda at all. Oh. You should be ashamed of yourself. I wasn't talking about children or humans, I'm talking about immigrants. Oh. You should be ashamed. Okay. Okay? Take that stuff somewhere else, okay. right? Cut that. So what's your take on immigration? Worry really about the uh, Islamic ray guns. Ray guns? Ray guns. Bear, 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 bear,
a bloody immigrants. Ba 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 ba. Bloody immigrants. Hello. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, really? Oh, 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 oh I can help you there. <laughs> So we've got an old couple who uh, have an immigrant stuck in their attic. They want us to go and help them out, so uh, let's go. Johnny, Johnny, thank you so much for coming. Thank you so much. We've, we've been huge fans, Margaret and I, for, for two years, three years. Sorry, Johnny, sorry. Hold on. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. We're quite excited to meet okay, you. Okay, okay. Um, what seems to be the problem? Listen, we've, we've got a little bit of an issue, a little mm. bit of a particular issue. Oh. We've been hearing some strange noises coming from the loft, and we, oh, we, we've read a few things, and we believe it might be an, an immigrant. Mm. Uh, we're not sure. Of all sorts of bizarre noises, honking and squawking. That sounds squawking. like an immigrant to me. And, uh, we're, we're very scared. Yeah, you should be. You should be. Both of you should be. You scared? I will admit, we, we haven't explored up there yet. No? Quite frankly, Margaret doesn't even want to go up the stairs. That's her own no. into the loft itself, and uh, I'm not the young man I used to be. No, I can see, I can see. So we, we, we were wondering, is there uh, Don't worry about it. I've got this under control. Sure? Oh, I've got it. God bless you, Johnny Greenhorn. God bless you. Oh, it's um, just up here then, Tony. I've okay. got nothing left to do but... Uh, Check it out. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm. Check it out, indeed, indeed. Uh, no noise is coming at the moment, but um, just, just be careful. I can smell something up there, oh, though. You, quite a fine substance. Mm. Mm. Almost a sweet smell, is it? No. Well, it's just not the, no. not the pies from earlier. Right. Wish me luck. Good luck, Johnny. <laughs> can you see? Can't see anything. Unfortunately, we don't have any footage of what happened next, but we do have this harrowing audio. Oh my god, what the f is that? What the f is that? Oh my god! Oh no! Jesus! Oh my god! Get off me! Ow! No! F f f Get off me! Get away from me! You filthy piece of Get away from me! No! No! Ow! Oh. Ow! 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 Box! Swan. It's a bloody swan. Big white one. <laughs>